Good morning, Grade Four. Welcome back to Grade Four Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So today, let's learn how we can write a date in a short form. So what do you mean by a date? A calendar date is something that refers to a particular day in a calendar system. It refers to a specific day in an year, or you can say it is a designation given to a specific day in an year. So a calendar date. Refers to a particular day represented within a calendar system. See, so there are different ways to write a date. For example, if you're writing the date like this, it is 10 February, the date of the day, the month, the name of the month, and then the year. It may not be always convenient to write the date like this. So, in those cases, we can use a short form to represent the date for the day. Here, 10 February 2021 can be written in short form as 10 a dot then 02 which means it is the second month of the year which is February then a dot then the year 2021. We will see a different example if the date is the 22nd of November 2014 it can be written in short form as 22 dot 11 which is which means it is the 11th month of the year that is November then a dot then the year 2014 what if it is the 25th of December if it is 25 December 2012 how would you write that in short form we can write as 25 then a dot then 12 then 2012 so this means it is the 25th of the 12th month of the year which is December and it is in the year 2012. So I hope this is clear to you. Now we'll talk about a timeline. You might have heard the word timeline before. So what do you mean by that? When you arrange a few events in the order of their occurrence, we call that as a timeline. And these timelines help us to organize event in the order of their happening. And these timelines are useful to document any type of development or progress in any project. I'll tell you a simple example to understand timeline. See, suppose you are born, you are born in the year 2010. You are writing the year 2010 here. Then you put a hyphen and you are writing born. And in 2011, you turned one. So you can write first birthday. In 2014, you turned four and you joined school. So you can write joined school. So these are just three major events in your life, and you have arranged these events in the order of their occurrence along. A line. So this is called a timeline. You have arranged three major events in your life along a line in the order of their occurrence. So here you have a simple example of a timeline. Now in your textbook you can see another example. Please turn to page number 160 and you can see some of the important events in Sir C. V. Raman's life represented on a timeline. So, in 1888, Sir C. V. Raman was born. The great physicist Sir C. V. Raman was born in 1888. And in 1907, he married Sundari Amal. Then, in 1917, he became the professor of physics at the University of Calcutta. In 1928, discovered the Raman effect. In 1929, he conferred knighthood. In 1930, awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics. In 1954, conferred Bharat Ratna Award. In 1957, awarded the Lenin Peace Prize. And in 1970, Sir C. V. Raman died. So here, you can see a few important events in his life are listed in the order of their occurrence along a line. And this is a timeline that shows these important events in the life of Sir C. V. Raman. So I hope the concept of timeline is clear to you now. You can go through these topics through pages 159 and 160 of your textbook. 
go through the topics once again. In page number 160, you can see the high order thinking skills question under the heading HOTS. Now, in the same page, you can see exercise 11.5, which has got three simple questions. Go through these questions. These are to draw timelines for the events described there. Then, you have also a heading called My Project in the same page and go through that as well and do accordingly. So once you are done with these activities, please do take a picture and send this to teams. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, bye.